Before we get started, I must remind you that this is a paid promotion, but don't get it twisted. If there's something I don't like, you're fit to hear about it. So again, because of the rules of the internet, you got to make sure you know that this does include a paid promotion. Okay? Now pay attention. <laughs> If you've been watching this space for any amount of time, you definitely know I always say that live streaming is all the rage. The best part about live streaming, say versus a traditional video edit, is you can interact with your community in real time. And speaking of interacting with your community in real time, today I'm gonna show you how to use Restream, a service that allows you to send to multiple platforms at the exact same time, and their new option, the Restream Studio, with Restream Studio, I'm going to show you how to set up your stream, put in your custom logos, graphics, overlays, backgrounds, the whole nine, and then show off their killer new feature, which is allowing you to bring in a guest. That's right. You can now invite a homie to come in and host your own live show directly in Restream without any other app. Now, this is a web-based browser service, but it has all of the cool features that you see from some of your other live streaming platforms. You're able to bring in comments. You're able to do, again, your own custom graphics and overlays and interact with your community in real time. And again, importantly, you can do this on multiple platforms at one time. That's why it's called Restream. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that today and I even invited a buddy to come in and show you how the guest features work. So stick around and welcome to Doc Rock Tips. Here we are in Restream Studio. All I need to do is select my input that I would like my microphone to come through. I am currently testing out this Audion Evo 4 interface, so I can select that. You could bring in microphone directly from your camera. If you were using the camera, I don't suggest doing that. If you are gonna do something like that, you're gonna need an external camera mic. It makes it sound better. Um, but I could bring in the internal microphone built into my Mac, so you don't have to have a special microphone. Of course, it helps if you do. I'm gonna go ahead and select Evo 4. And as you can see here, I have the ability to bring in my cam link. I could also use my built-in FaceTime camera, my secondary cam link in which I have a Sony A7R2 connected, or I could actually use my virtual camera, which is built into Ecamm Live. Whole different tutorial. We will definitely get into that one day, but today we're gonna to stick to what Restream has built in. In Restream, I have the ability to add my own graphics. So I could take off their built-in overlay. I can show my own overlay, which is very easy to upload. All you do is press the upload button here on the side and you can select whatever you want. I also can use something like a gigantic overlay. And in this case, as you will probably notice, my face is well hidden, but then I also have the ability to turn it off and get back to my camera. I could use something like this background, which you won't see right now, but once I have my guest come on, it should be able to work. Okay, it is screen recording, but let me do this. So I have been able to get my buddy edit to connect on the other line. So I'm gonna jump over. You're gonna see Firefox window. Now the Firefox window, the lip sync is gonna be off because it's actually recording and I'm gonna show you how to go live from here. Try to ignore the lip sync temporarily. In your normal circumstances, if you weren't screen recording and trying to go live, you wouldn't have this problem. But that is, you know, just the way it works. So hold it. here we go. Let's jump over to the screen right here. As you can see here in Restream Studio, I have a chat window open. And if I press chat, you know, I can, you know, type messages here. Hello. And then that shows up and it shows that my chats are going to, um, let's see, YouTube and Facebook and the other YouTube channel at the same time. And I can press this button to show them on screen. Okay, so I'll turn that off. If I click over here to captions, you can see where I can add a please subscribe button that shows up on this on the live as well. I'm gonna turn that off. But here on the graphics, with this particular setup, you see I have myself and DJ Edit in a split, but I can also do a smaller split that gives more room for the typing. And from here, my uh, screencast is gonna disappear and we're gonna go live. I will hopefully edit some of that video into the screencast. One last thing I wanted to show you behind the scenes here in Restream Studio. 
I can change the background. So if you have multiple backgrounds that you want to be able to use in order to show, you know, maybe different parts of your show or different parts of your guests, you can add more and just press the upload icon here, which will just be a standard upload and you can send things that way. Another thing that you can do with a participant's name is click this button here and it shows where I have Doc Rock and DJ Edit's third name, <laughs> Asian Tony Stark. <laughs> First that, name now. First that, name now. That that shows up there. Oh, that's right. Because you know, Asian Tony Stark is more the IG handle kind of thing. And yeah. so you're able to do that. Again, I can add my own custom icon here if I wanted to. Or, you know, if I wanted to show that I'm using Restream, I can go ahead and do that. So that's all sort of built in, very simple and easy to use. And as far as you know, most of your streaming software go, this is pretty, pretty simple. Uh, one more thing I can do now that I did this particular setup for the camera, you can see it's much easier to put my captions on the bottom where you have the guest and we're not interfering with the guest's face, the guest is the guest face, as opposed to if I did it that way, it works. You can see how this, the system automatically changes the, the layout and stuff, but there is a little bit more room if you use the one with the background. So I guess it kind of depends on your content. What we're going to do right at this moment in time, again, like I said, is go live. And so the lip sync is definitely going to go crazy on the screencast, but we'll get it all fixed in the edit. This is mostly to show you how easy it is to set up and do a live stream by inviting a guest. And all I needed to do to invite a guest is click this icon here. Now, which was really unique when we were testing offline before we got set up, um, edit actually, or Tony Stark, he actually added another browser and it was able to show up even though the camera doesn't work. I, I was able to see what it would look like if we actually had four guests. So that feature does also work. All you need to do is copy that link. This little icon represents copying it to the clipboard and you can easily paste it to someone else. So before we get started, one last thing to do is go here in setups. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in what we're talking about today. And so I can go ahead and press that and I'll paste that in. Double check. Uh oh, I might have did that twice. Let me erase that and paste it that way. And then let me grab the description. Hopefully I have it. No, nope. let me go grab this real quick. Just a second. A few moments later. Click here. All I need to do now is paste in my description. And if I press update all, it will go ahead and update the places I want to go. For this particular stream, I want to stream to um, the DJ live streaming YouTube page. I want to stream to my personal Facebook page and my personality, AKA business page, and also to my DJ live streaming YouTube page. So only having those selected, if I press update all, it will go ahead and update those um, descriptions. And now that that is ready, all I need to do is make sure I have chat open here and press go live. First of all, for anybody that just happens to pop up on YouTube, I just got it started because I figured it out. So you did mention that about if you had a, a stream key. So in Restream, there's two ways to connect YouTube, right? There is connect YouTube via event page, which your key is going to be consistent, or there's connect through Stream Now, in which your key is going to change every time. Um, I like the fact that you can easily see how many people are watching. Uh, that helps out. And if I really wanted to, I could connect it to Ecamm so I can control all of my camera overlays and all that stuff by using Ecamm as a virtual camera. Scott said he likes the big view. Oh, the, the large noggin view like this. Yeah, but then it's funny because like my camera, I'm using a 16 millimeter lens, slightly zoomed in. And, oh, I don't know if you guys know this, but normally I rock blue lights there in the back. But since I was making a video today, testing our Restream, I switched the lights to orange. They're kind of coming off as yellow, though. <laughs> What's up, Jake? What's up, Jake? Jake Kidd in here. In the building. I, I mean, in, in theory, like, the, the, the cool part is, look, if you just want to just get started streaming, you don't want to have to do anything or learn anything or whatever... I think Restream is 
fairly simple, straightforward, right? You basically sign up for the service. You can send to a bunch of places at one time and you just use the sort of built in studio. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of web based. I wasn't sure if I would be a fan of using their built-in producer because it's web-based, but it's actually pretty quick. It's not as slow as I thought it would be. So, like, if I just wanted to pull up a a quick title, I'm just press the button. It pops right up. Like, it's it's relatively instantaneous. And uh, it, when you swap another one, it swaps out. So that's pretty cool. And got to send a shout-out to Restream. You know, you can follow them there and ask questions. When you're in the standard graphics pane and you want to, you know, add graphics or whatever, that's relatively quick. And the chat part is cool because you can actually download it as a separate app and then have that running. So in case, say, your computer is, you know, somewhere else or you just want to have your Windows kind of set up because you're teaching and you don't want chat to show up in your teaching, you can have it in a separate app so you can chat in there. And in theory, it's going to chat to both your YouTube and your Facebook at the same time. So as you have people listening on both sides, you know what I mean? So like if I were to type in something here, it should pop up into the chat feed and then I can hit this button and put it on screen. But yeah, so even pulling in a, a chat from YouTube would work. The only thing that I think is missing is I don't have the ability to put in my Streamlabs stuff, which I normally use in order to show new subscribers, new donations, tip jar, and all of that. But that stuff, I'm sure they'll add. Restream is relatively new. It's only a little over a year old. Oh, yeah. One other thing that you can do in case uh, I didn't mention it, I can make it so that, you know, Mr. Asian Tony Stark is the spotlight, or I can make it so that myself is the spotlight versus doing you don't always have to be at the double. So it's almost like using something like an ATEM switcher or a big channel switcher. If you have, you know, say two or three guests, you can easily allow the guests to be the highlight if you were talking to, say, a prominent guest. But neither one of us are prominent. We're just regular dudes. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. We were just testing out some stuff. And if I were to test out some stuff, I said, let me call up my man, Agent Tony Stark. And then we could try some stuff. Thank you. If you guys haven't done so already, it's very important. You jump over to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Doc Rock. I am that close to 5,000 subscribers. So I need y'all. Half of y'all that are watching are my friends. And y'all ain't even subscribed to my YouTube channel. And that is just straight dirty. If you want to check out Restream, make sure you follow them on Twitter. And the, I have a link in the description where you can download a free trial and you can play with it. But, yeah, this has been super cool. Thank you so much, my buddy, Mr. Asian Tony Stark himself. I appreciate you, fam. Always. Peace out, people. See ya. Mahalo, bro. Baby girl, let the ice break. Give you all what your life is. I know what I say. Give me baby girl and all the night When you want something, come on, you can ask and I never say no. You know what I say? Upgrade and nice, I can get you some. I met a girl from the UK. She had a she had cute. I tell her, come if she wanna see me. She love the green and she love when it rains. She said, bring up the money from the ATM. Tell your mom, some your ATM. Me no back, you can shop it with your ATM.